Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you did it, and if you are new here make if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family the notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out so as you read in the title I'm no longer diagnosed with dissociative disorder what So this happened in my last psychiatrist appointment, which if you haven't seen the video already, I will link it in the description down below, and I'll put it on the iCard up there, or on screen here for you. Basically in that video I discussed getting a new diagnosis of schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type. But along with that, my another discussion we had was about my dissociative disorders, depersonalization and derealization. Now we're not saying I don't struggle with dissociation because I do but I believe and my psychiatrist agreed that most of my problems were coming from PTSD and schizoaffective disorder so we removed the DPDR diagnosis from my record so how do I feel about this now I, I will admit I was a bit afraid at the beginning of it because I've been diagnosed with depersonalization and derealization for six years now and yeah I've sort of just grown up with that there. Personally I think removing it was the right decision but I also feel a bit like a bit lost now because there's no diagnosis that fits in with the dissociation so what does that mean moving forward? Well it means I, I for some reason don't have DPDR and it means I don't need treatment for DPDR. So anyone who doesn't know DPDR is, a, is an abbreviation of depersonalization and derealization. It wasn't too long ago that I did a Q&A on depersonalization and derealization and yeah I still believe that I had it and now I don't. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that it's another diagnosis removed from a record that doesn't fit. One less diagnosis makes me happy. Well, as happy as you can be when you're depressed. Sucks to be me. But yeah, it's a bit of a change having this as a diagnosis. I knew being diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder was going to change some things for me. For instance, no longer having a bipolar diagnosis. I didn't expect it to interfere with depersonalization and derealization though. But it does make sense because I always dissociate when I'm triggered by my PTSD. And if you want me to prove that, there's, there's a live stream on my channel that I'm going to link in the icon. And I dissociated live after reading my custody record out, which was a very hard and emotional thing to do. It genuinely impacted me. And I don't know, it's just something that I haven't really ever considered before. I, I knew dissociation was a symptom of PTSD, but I didn't know it was going to be something it was going to be only that because I thought they would have diagnosed that sooner but my PTSD is definitely one of the worst disorders I have if I could get rid of one it would be that because that is the hardest to control and I don't like feeling out of control it's why I developed an eating disorder it's why I used to self harm there are just so many ifs, ands and buts. Shit their ass. But so yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than another diagnosis change. Well removal. But yeah, if you are new here, thank you for if you are here, thank you for watching and if you are my there If you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you didn't know I have a Patreon, this is my Patreon. It's linked in the description down below and on the iCard up there. I do one video a week on there that's never going to be shown on this channel. I'd love to have more people see these videos so feel free to join my Patreon. It's $2 a month or $3 a month, I can't remember. 
I think it's three dollars a month. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.